Hello everybody, this is going to be the basic item tutorial. This actually this item tutorial will carry on into um a bigger tutorial series of that is pretty much a time lapse of me making a new ore and a new item a new um suits of armor and stuff. Okay, because lots of people have been asking for that and I actually promised that I would do suits of armor and swords and new weaponry and tools in this next tutorial, but 15 minutes is not enough for that, and I think if I do that, it'll take away from the experience that a n newbie, an EWBY, okay, a person that is new to Minecraft modding, will not benefit from something like that, you know. I'm aiming to make something that somebody can Google, and they'll just find this tutorial on how to make a basic item. But don't worry, this, I this tutorial is just the beginning, and actually this will this will lay the foundation for our um, swords and armor mod later on that will actually be the next one. I'll probably continue today. If you notice, I change it to this item in armor, tut, 0 0.2 beta. Wait, not 0 0.2 point, 0 0.2. There you go. Okay, so, basic item. If, I, if you look at item Java over here, it's pretty much the same as block.java, right? At the top, there's all this stuff. Keep on scrolling down until you get to this huge list of items. Like now, the first thing we are going to make is pretty much just a basic item that does pretty much nothing. Okay? So, I'm thinking that we will make opal stuff. Okay, opal is... No, wait, not opal. Uh, that's a gem. That's a kind of soft gem, too. Let's pick something nice that we'll be able to make our um, armor and stuff out of. I'm going to call it... Um, um, I don't know. I'm thinking you should get this when you put netherrack or glowstone into a furnace. So let's call it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something you can mine. Any ideas? You know what? Let's do kryptonite. Just for fun. Kryptonite. So it's gonna. You're gonna be able to mine it just like diamond, and it's gonna drop an item like diamond. So we are gonna model our item off of diamond. So we just need to find diamond somewhere here. Hoe diamond, pickaxe, axe diamond. I just need normal diamond. Unfortunately, it's not here somewhere. Let's just control F, search. Diamond. Hoe diamond, helmet, plate, legs, boots. Diamond sword. Hoe diamond. Oh, oh, there. No, not sword. Oh, right here, diamond. Right. So we're just gonna copy this. And paste it in. If you notice, um, these are very similar to blocks, just they have less things about them. For um, these, you have like foot for blocks, you have hardness, footstep sound, name, and light value. Items don't have a light value. All they have is their texture, which is set in the form of a icon coordinate, rather than um, icon index. So we're gonna actually change it to icon icon index because mod loader overrides only work with icon indexes. The name is, eh, it's just a name, pretty much. It doesn't actually show up on there. That, for that we have to mod loader add name and because it's an item we don't have to register it as a block either. So pretty much all it does is, well, let's, let's add this into the static field first real quick and I'll show you guys. Call it Kryptonite. I have a feeling I'm going to spell this wrong somewhere else again. Watch. Kryptonite. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew I was going to spell it wrong. Look at this. Kryptonite. I'm going to call this one also Kryptonite. And it's going to be a new item ID. So we're going to look at item.java for the biggest item ID, which is 2001. Apparently records are 2,000 and item shears, which is apparently the latest one, is 103. So for these, I guess, um, I don't know, just for fun, for, as a Dragon Ball Z reference, I'm going to do 9,001, you know, for like, you know, over 9,000 kind of thing. <laughs> and if you notice... Unlike having its own block, oh sorry, its own item file, this is actually referencing item.java directly. If you notice, some blocks, actually only one block that I know of, planks, 
points itself to block.java because it has no special functionality. For example, like I don't know, I don't know. Let's go to let's pick one of these things on the list. Look over here, like new item, like we. It pretty much does nothing, right? I mean, you can't do anything with it aside from crafting it. Those are the kind of items that will go directly to item.java because they have like no functionality of their own. Unlike item food. For item food, when you right click, it heals you a certain amount, right? For buckets of water and lava, for water, they are actually defined in the static field over here in the static thingy. Right here. I don't know why, but. Yeah. And the point is, anything that doesn't come from item. It it does something pretty much. I'm guessing this should actually be in its own place because it has something to do with wolves. Apparently not. But anyway, beds also go in their own place. See, any item that does something in general that you can like right click and do something with, it does not go to item. Like for example, boats. When you right click it, it spawns a boat entity that you can get onto. It's it points to something other than item, right? But for right now, all we're going to do is this thing is going to be in a furnace or in a crafting table, and it's not really going to do anything. So we're going to leave it, go to, we're going to let it just go to item that job, which is right here, okay? Now, the coordinates. We need a picture, right? And the only way, if you notice over here, set icon coordinates, it's also, I don't, we need to get rid of this. This shouldn't exist. Since we're already defining it over here, that shouldn't matter. Anyway, if set icon coordinates if you notice it requires two numbers seven and three mod loader it only returns one integer okay it doesn't return two no function can return two of anything it can only it can return one array that includes two numbers but it can only return one array it cannot return two arrays you know what I mean it can only return one of something so in this case it's requiring one, two of them but mod loader only lets you get one so for that we're gonna change this with um, set icon index which is this actually requires a single what's it called I see it only requires one int rather than int int so for that we're just gonna copy this control C control V now the other thing you guys should know is that yeah I'll show you manually is that there are no items in terrain.png. Notice terrain.png. Where in the world is, I don't know, pick an item. Um, diamonds. There are no diamonds in here. There's diamond block, no diamonds, right? So for that, all diamonds are in, where's GUI? GUI and not container. No, let's just look at this in a thumbnail style. It's easier that way, right? So it's an items.png over here. If you notice, you get our pork, we got our cooked pork, fish, cooked fish, that, saddles, cookies, pretty much every single item in existence. I don't even know what this is, if that's an item that exists. But anyway, it's here, right? Clocks, everything. Apparently, pink stuff is stuff that's to be changed into something else. Because, I mean, clocks inside the game are obviously not pink. But anyway, same for those. They're not supposed to just have black inside. But you see, all these ran, all the items are here. Redstone dust, that glowstone dust. I don't even know what that is. Is that an egg? I think that's an egg. I'm not even sure what that is. No, I know. That's clay. Never mind. Clay. Bread. Wheat. All items are in items.png. Even the, if you notice over here, um, the records are in items.png. So instead of overriding terrain.png, you want to override um, GUI slash items.png. This is what we're overriding, and we're going to place our other thing over here. So we're going to call it kryptonite. Right, kryptonite.png. So I'm not going to bother going into Photoshop right now. I'm actually going to do that out of the video so I don't waste time inside the video, like as I'm recording, you know. I'll make a really cool video. I'll make a really cool picture, and I'll show you guys later, but not now. Um, so there's our basic item. 
All we have to do now is add a name. So we're going to copy that, paste it inside. But it's not going to be variable server block, it's going to be variable kryptonite. So it's going to be kryptonite, right? Super block, no, it's not going to be called, it's going to be called kryptonite, right? And we're going to add a, we're not going to add a normal recipe for it actually. I mean, do something special because you guys really wanted it. I mean, make a smelting recipe for kryptonite instead. Let's say you have to put glowstone in the furnace, right? So I'm going to go to furnace recipes, FU. <laughs> Sorry. FU as in I've typed FU to go to the first combination of F and U. Furnace recipes, right? So for example, add smelting block dot iron. Add smelting block, iron ore, block ID, and and out you get iron ingot, right? So we're just going to copy this, control C, put it inside our mod, what's it called, right? So I don't know, I, I just like doing this. So I'm going to put a comment. So I'm going to put comments just to help me understand what in the world I'm doing, just for organization's sake. So registers, so this is registering a block, right? Slash slash is a Java comment. It's one of those things about Java. Names. Crafting recipes. Doesn't really matter because these, like the spelling and stuff, because, well, they don't really do anything. Comments are just there for comments, pretty much. And then, um, smelting recipes, right? Control V this. But instead of just mod loader, instead of just that, it's going to be as all the other ones over here. Mod loader dot and then it's a capital A. Don't ask me why. It's just one of those things. So mm, block iron block ID, right? So we don't want it from there, since if you notice, blocks are defined in block dot Java. Items, the item list is in item dot Java. So if we're going to get our item, which is I don't know glowstone, where is glowstone dust? Control F O. Gotta be here somewhere, right? No glow at all? No, wait, you have got to be kidding me. No glow? How about light? Find? Oh, there you go, light stone dust. Why do they make it that? Nobody knows. <laughs> but we just want light stone dust, right? So if you have your um, Eclipse set up properly, this should work. You should go item, the capital I, hit the period, and it will give you all the list of all the items. Right, so let's find lightstone. L L lightstone dust. <laughs> now items don't have a block ID because well they're not blocks, right? Instead they have an equivalent called a shifted index. So that'd be the first one right here, shifted index. Right? So after you do a smelting it creates a new item stack of iron, right? But let's say we want more than one item. Uh we want more than one um, kryptonite per lightstone dust, right? Well, I don't know how to do that. Well, no, no, that should work actually. Mm -hmm. We could just do comma two. For example, that would make two ingot, like iron ingots at this point. But well, I mean, I'm thinking that's cheap. If it should be the other way around, two lightstone dust make kryptonite. But that's unfortunately impossible for Minecraft. So we're just gonna hit since, yeah, we just want to put our kryptonite instead. New item stack of kryptonite. No, spelled it wrong. Kryptonite, right? So there you go. This is our recipe. We got our name, and I spelled it wrong over here too. <laughs> kryptonite. If you smelt lightstone, you get that, right? And now let's test it. This is our basic item and smelting recipes because you guys asked for them. So Control S, and I'm gonna test it. And let it turn on. Sometimes it minimizes this. Problem. What's the problem? We don't have our picture. Dun dun dun. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna have to open Photoshop now. So wait, I'm just gonna give myself a reference point because I'm gonna cut it right here and speed up the next part. <laughs>